So hello friends, welcome back after a long, long time. And today we are going to discuss a new problem for J Advanced. So this has nothing to do with NEET, J Advanced, or CBSE. And this problem, you know, it is special, uh, specifically for J Advanced. And it's a new thing. It is on pointing students. A lot of students may find it new. And uh, so let us understand this. So the question goes like this: that uh, uh, there is a water current that is moving with some speed u. This distance is v. and the boat here has to reach the opposite point in such a way that it is always pointing towards that yeah so if it is pointing more towards that current is here it will move this way if it moves this way it will still point in this way if it moves here it will still point to that and ultimately it will reach here yeah this is the theorem so it is a very good motivational thing also that even if there are a lot of distractions you still point towards your goal you will ultimately reach the goal if your velocity is good yeah it has to overcome you ultimately yeah so this is the pointing theorem the boat always point towards the goal now we need to find the time in which in which it will reach here so you can pause the video right now and you can solve it on your own you can see if you can do this otherwise you know after giving 5 10 15 minutes you can uh, switch on the video again and see it so let us solve the problem and uh, i am erasing this so first thing that i will consider here is the current is not there and this po point is receding back the point reaches here and the boat has to reach here okay so this is the thing this is origin and how much back the point went it is u into t t is the total time u was the current speed okay this is first thing that we considered now suppose actually what is happening actually this is happening at any instant if it reaches some height y it is pointing to this point with some speed v let us consider this angle as theta and this is the velocity of current so we can see this is v this is u this is theta okay so you know if it is uh, something very new to you so you may have to see this video two three times to get it on you completely you may not be able to understand it properly in one time maybe okay so let us resolve this is v cos theta and this is v sin theta now we will see this distance b which which was given in the question what which velocity covered it v cos theta so we can first write v cos theta into dt integration at any instant so at all the instant theta is changing t is changing we cannot integrate it directly but it is constant so this distance will be b this is first thing and this equation you know nobody can refute so this is a very good equation second thing is uh we can see ut was the distance which had to be covered in this situation i did not consider any current velocity only ut was considered in this situation both are considered so if i see from this situation only we can see that v sin theta covered ut that means v sin theta into dt integration is ut second equation is formed good now uh, we will move on to the master equation which is very very good so let us understand that suppose this is the distance l at any instant between the boat and the final point yeah so let us consider this in dt time in dt time the boat will move v dt and the point will receive how much u dt okay this angle was theta so if i draw a perpendicular here this is 90 this is theta 90 minus theta and back to theta again this is alternating angle this is angle again theta so we can see the distance l was covered by this and was increased by the component of u dt this side right that means dl the small element dl was covered by v dt but increased by u dt sin theta this is the thing we have to understand these are the three questions that we need to solve and finally we have the answer Yeah. So if you have any doubt in this, you can write in the comments. But I think after seeing the video two three times, you will be able to understand 
So this is the Marcel equation. At any instant, the L distance which was there, DL was covered, and the vertical direction and the horizontal direction is solved. Now let us solve and we have the answer. So DL went from zero to D. So it what was covered initially nothing was covered, and finally the L distance B was covered, right? So we have D here is equal to zero to capital D B T minus integration U D T. Sin theta from zero to capital D. Okay. Now this thing we can write d t minus t sin theta. The integration is how much? Now this is the special thing that we did. We did not know the value of this, and we just put it in the terms of variable here. This is the thing. Yeah. This is also from zero to t. So u into u t by d. This was a special thing that we considered, right? I think this equation was not used anywhere. Okay, so we can take the LCM. It is b square minus u square into t upon b is b. Finally, what is the time? Time is b v by b square minus u square. Okay, so let us check the dimensions v and b square. So what remains is v. That means meter per second. So this is meter. B distance to meter. Meter per meter per second is the second. So dimension we also discuss. So this is a new thing on pointing theorem. The boat will always point towards its uh, main aim, and it will it will finally reach there. Yeah. So that's it for today. So I am hoping to create good J problems, advanced problems, problems for all those people who want to prepare really for J advanced. Yeah. For all the you know good problems we will solve. So share this video with all your friends. We'll meet in the next video. Thanks so much.